Let's continue to pray for the end of this coronavirus in our country and throughout the world. And there was a special request from one of my friends from Lord Water Village. His friend Lowell is a, probably working in the hospital. He's in a very, very critical condition because of the coronavirus and going into ventilation and today. So he has asked our prayers and of course for my friend Sebi George who is still having the cough and the fever. We continue to pray for them too and all those who have asked our prayers and we continue to pray for the end of this uh, virus at the earliest. And to celebrate this Mass in a worthy manner, let us call to our mind all our sins and failures and ask for God's mercy and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, bless Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, who gladden us, sorry, we let's pray the Gloria together. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Holy begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who gladden us year by year with the solemnity of the Lord's resurrection, graciously grant that we, that by celebrating these present festivities, we may merit through them to reach eternal joys. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter and John were going up to the temple area for the three o'clock hour of prayer, and a man crippled from birth was carried and placed at the gate of the temple called the Beautiful Gate every day to beg for alms from the people who entered the temple. When he saw Peter and John about to go into the temple, he asked for alms. But Peter looked intently at him and as did John, and said, Look at us. He paid attention to them, expecting to receive something from them. Peter said, I have neither silver nor gold, but what I do have I give you. In the name of Jesus Christ the Nazarene, rise and walk. Then Peter took him by the right hand and raised him up, and immediately his feet and ankles grew strong. He leaped up, stood, and walked around. 
and went into the temple with them, walking and jumping and praising God. When all the people saw him walking and praising God, they recognized him as the one who used to sit begging at the beautiful gate of the temple. And they were filled with amazement and astonishment at what had happened to him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Rejoice, Rejoice O hearts that seek the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord, invoke his name, make known, make known among the nations his deeds. Sing to him, sing his praise, proclaim all his wondrous deeds. Rejoice, Rejoice O hearts that seek the Lord. Glory in his holy name. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Look to the Lord in his strength. Seek to serve him constantly. Rejoice, Rejoice O hearts that seek the Lord. Your descendants of Abraham, his servants, sons of Jacob, have his chosen ones. He, the Lord, is our God. Throughout the earth, his judgments prevail. Rejoice, Rejoice O hearts that seek the Lord. He remembers forever his covenant, which he made binding for a thousand generations, which he entered into with Abraham and by his oath to Isaac. Rejoice, Rejoice O hearts, hearts that seek the Lord. disciples were going to a village seven miles from Jerusalem called Emmaus, and they were conversing about all the things that had occurred. And it happened that while they were conversing and debating, Jesus himself drew near and walked with them, but their eyes were prevented from recognizing him. He asked them, what are you discussing as you walk along? They stopped looking downcast. One of them, named Cleopas, said to him in reply, Are you the only visitor to Jerusalem who does not know of the things that have taken place there in these days? And he replied to them, What sort of things? They said to him, The things that happened to Jesus the Nazarene, who was a prophet mighty in deed and word before God and all the people, how our chief priests and rulers both handed him over to a sentence of death and crucified him. But we were hoping that he would be the one to redeem Israel. And besides all this, it is now the third day since this took place. Some women from our group, however, have astounded us. They were at the tomb early in the morning and did not find his body. They came back and reported that they had indeed seen a vision of angels who announced that he was alive. 
Then some of those with us went to the tomb and found things just as the women had described, but him they did not see. And he said to them, Oh, how foolish you are! How slow of heart to believe all that the prophets spoke! Was it not necessary that the Christ should suffer these things and enter into his glory? Then beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he interpreted to them what referred to him in all the scriptures. As they approached the village to which they were going, he gave the impression that he was going on farther. But they urged him, Stay with us, for it is nearly evening, and the day is almost over. So he went in to stay with them. And it happened that while they were, he was with them at table, he broke bread, said the blessing, broke it, and gave it to them. With that their eyes were opened, and they recognized him, but he vanished from their sight. Then they said to each other, Were not our hearts burning within us? Well, he spoke to us on the way, and opened the scriptures to us. So they set out at once, and returned to Jerusalem, where they found gathered together the eleven and those with them who were saying, The Lord has truly been raised, and has appeared to Simon. Then the two recounted what had taken place on the way, and how he was made known to them in the breaking of the bread. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. These two disciples in today's Gospel, we see the sadness on their part of their life they are experiencing, and also we see that hopelessness they were experiencing. They knew and they witnessed that their master was crucified and he was buried on Good Friday. Although the women three days later and the, the angels greeted that uh, he is alive, still these two guys were not convinced. Sorry, we know what has what happened. It is impossible for him to be alive. There is no use of saying with you guys, with the other disciples, that is the church, the eleven disciples, those and apostles, there is no use of saying here, we are on our way back to our home. So, a lot of times we also feel that uh, walking away from the church, we can find ourselves something, doing something else. These two disciples would have felt the church, of course, the chosen people, that the apostles and the community of believers, they were still in Jerusalem. And Jesus asked them to be there till the Holy Spirit comes and, uh, and strengthens. But these two were walking away from there. And then we find the risen Lord meeting them and bringing them back again to the community, making a new turn. They walked some seven miles walking without the hill country without taking a whole day or something. They walked and the evening towards the evening and when Jesus revealed himself at the breaking of the bread, which is, in other words, the risen Lord celebrating the Mass, offering the Eucharist to them, and there they recognized him. The Jesus, uh, G it was Jesus. And what did they do? They returned back, they walked back again. Again, another seven miles again without looking at the tiredness or anything. So, this, they were going away from the church community, and the believing community, the risen Lord met them on their way. Of course, they had a reason for them to go because it's a hopeless situation. They, they were deeply saddened at the death of Jesus and there's no more hope because the scripture tells we were hoping everything he's going to do yet, but our hope was shattered on, the, on Friday and he was crucified and when he and the uh, even uh, when, they, when the Romans killed him, the Pharisees, Pharisees and scribes. So our hope was broken and so they were going back. We are in a situation sometimes we, we have hopeless situations in which we encounter always the risen Lord. He is coming to meet us and asking us, go back, return back to your faith, go back to your faith. I am there. 
Uh, so do not give up hope. So let us spend some time reflecting on this scripture passage. It has a lot of so many, the first reading and the second, the gospel reading and the Psalms have a lot of inspiring things for us to tell. But let us just take this point, especially the disciples were walking away from the rest of the group. But then there is a Lord who brought them back to the believing community again, asking them to go back. And they went there joyfully sharing again. We have seen the Lord. The risen Lord appeared to us. How, how we recognized him at the breaking of the bread. Let us recognize Jesus' presence in the Eucharist now. Let us offer our prayers and petitions. The response, Lord, hear our prayer. For leaders of the church, may God's wisdom flow in and through them in their witness to God's saving love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For areas of the world afflicted by violence, may God's hand raise up leaders who offer peaceful solutions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For families facing conflict, may the Holy Spirit lead them in embracing, understanding, and reconciliation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our faith community, may we receive eyes of faith to recognize the face of Christ in others. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died in Christ with Christ, may they rise with him to eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Our mass intention today is for Teresa Johnson. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us spend a brief moment praying for all those who have asked our prayers and for our own personal intentions that we hold within the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, we know that everything is in your sovereign control. We ask that you keep this coronavirus from continuing to spread. Help people to decide to stay at home instead of traveling and going around unnecessarily. And while it, is be, it may be heartbreaking, comfort families as they decide to keep their distance from the elderly and other high-risk family members. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the wine and work of human hands it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Lord, wash away from my
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands. Receive, we pray, O Lord, the sacrifice which has redeemed the human race, and be pleased to accomplish in us salvation of mind and body through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to love you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sanctified. For he is the true Lamb, who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with the pastoral joy, every land, every people excels in your praise. And even the heavenly powers, with the, with the angelic hosts, sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, hosts and the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, hosts and the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chance. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held this worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, in your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, and Paul our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Teresa Johnson, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that she who has united with your Son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have Please to you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
through him and with him and in him. O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant a peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and saved from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my room, but only you say a word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. For all those who have joined us through the Facebook, please pray this prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen.
Lord Jesus Christ. Because of Holy Communion, we feel within us a new strength. We are no longer weak and faltering, but strong with the strength that is not ours but yours, not human but divine. We thank you for coming into our hearts. Lord, we humbly implore you to grant special graces to our family. Give us with the compassion to better understand each other and wisdom and love to assist each other. And trust and patience to live peacefully together. Grant that through the intercession of your mother, Mary, and Saint Joseph, our family may become a holy family, accepting each other, working together in unity, selflessly dedicated to one another and to you. Bless all the members of our spiritual family in the church by following the example of the Holy Family in mutual love and respect. May we come to the joy of our home in heaven. Amen. Let us pray. We pray, O Lord, that the reverent reception of the sacrament of your Son may cleanse us from our old ways and transform us into new creation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Just once again a reminder at seven o'clock we have the Divine Mercy Novena. Please join us.